I want to make little townhouse shapes with toothpicks. So this would be my first townhouse. I've used three toothpicks so far, four, five, and six. So that is my first townhouse. And let me make a little table here, keeping track of things. So I'll do that in white. So here's my table to keep track of things. So this is the number of houses, number of houses. And then this is the toothpicks, toothpicks that I'm using to make that house. So this first toothpick, or this, the first house here, took me six toothpicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's make our second house, our second house. And these are going to be townhouses. They're going to share common walls. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five toothpicks for my second house. Now why did I only have to add five and not six? Well, they shared a common wall here, so I didn't have to add another toothpick here for this left-hand side wall. So starting with the first house, I really just had to add five toothpicks. I had to add five toothpicks to get to now 11 total toothpicks if I want two houses. I think you see the trend here. What about three? What about three of these? Well, this is going to be another five. One, two, three, four, five toothpicks. So we're going to add five again. We're going to add five again and get to 16. Let's do four just for good measure. So the fourth one, we're going to add another five. One, two, three, four, five. So the fourth one, we're going to add another five, gets us to, gets us to 21. Now, I want to think about, can we, using this pattern, figure out how many, it would, how many toothpicks it would take for us to say, make 50 of these townhouses, or even 500 of these townhouses, or even 5,000 of them? And we just have to look at this pattern here and see, can we come up with an equation for each of these actual values? So for example, we see a pattern that, well, we already recognize that we're, we started with six and we're adding five every time every time we add a house. So, since you, so when you add the second house, you add five once. The third house, you, add five, you, you start with six and you add five twice. The fourth house, you start with six and you add five three times. So let's actually write that down. So 21 is equal to, you start with six, you start with this six here, you start with six, and then you add five three times, plus five times three. When you had the three houses, once again, you started with six, you started with six, and you added five two times. You added five, let me do that same color. And you added five two times, plus five times two. When you had when you had two houses, you started with six again. This is equal to six. And you added five once. So plus five, plus five times one. And then when you had one house, when you, one ha when you had one house, and it'll fit the same pattern, you started with six. And how many times did you add five? Well, you didn't add five. You could say that you added five. You added five zero times. So you might see a little pattern here. However many houses you needed, you take one less than that, multiply it by five, add that to six, and you get the number of toothpicks. And I, actually, let me rewrite this. So I could rewrite this as six plus five times four minus one. I could write this as six plus five times three minus one. You could write this as six plus five times two minus one. You could rewrite this as six plus five times one minus one. And maybe that makes the pattern a little bit closer or clearer. This four is right over here. This three is right over here. This two, this two is right over here. And then this one is right over here. So now I think we are ready to think about what would happen if we wanted to make 50 houses. So let's try to do that. So this right over here is do that in orange. This right over here is our 50th house. So this is, this, this is the shared left wall it has. This is the 50th house right over here. So how many total toothpicks for 50 houses? So if we have 50 houses, well, we can use the pattern that we came up with. It's going to be equal to, so it's going to be equal to starting with our six. The first house requires six. And then we're going to add five for each incremental house. So plus five for each incremental house. And how many incremental houses are there going to be? Well, they're going to be 50 
minus one incremental houses. Why minus one? Well, you already built one of them with the six. Then for every extra one, so there's going to be 49 extra houses, you're going to add five toothpicks apiece. So this is going to be equal to six plus five times 49. And that is 245. So 6 plus 245, 6 plus 245 is equal to 251 sticks. And what's really neat about this pattern we just came up with is you could use it to figure out how many, how many sticks you would need for a million of these little toothpick townhouses.